hello cousins welcome back to cwa yo i don't even know where to start right now but i know we got a whole lot of me cg okay Where do we start? Where do we start? Where do we start? First card is, I don't think this is going to work. I just don't. I just don't think this is going to work out. Okay? So... <clears throat> At the very bottom, we got, I'm not sorry, and you know it. So, either this is your energy or this is what somebody is being told. Like, you know, I just don't think this is going to work out at all. You know, the funny thing about this is I get the feeling that this is an additional person being told this shit. If this is not you saying this, then this is somebody saying this to another person so that they can try to come towards you or something. Yeah, loyalty tested. But, yeah, the, the baseline here is I don't think this shit going to work. Someone is thinking of you, but that may be the person that you're thinking this shit's not going to work. Mm, I'm cool. Oh, my bad. 9 oh, what is it? 9 oh, 8 9 8 23 p.m. Forgot the time stamp and dated on my winnings. What is she doing? Ah, don't be starting off like that. What you doing? Mm. So we got, I can't be with you because you moving weird. Or because you, what is this? I can't be with you because you move weird. But then it's in reverse. So somebody is about to try to convince you, like, nah, I don't really be moving around weird as fuck. Like, I'm, I'm actually pretty cool and shit. Like, you know, it's, it's all cool. Yeah, but I don't know you anymore. So whoever this is, you're like, I don't think this is going to work. And I think you're being, I think you're being very polite about it. Like, you know what? I'm cool. Like, that, that's just not it. And I'm cool. I, I got bigger dreams. I got, I got, you know, this just. This this too small. This just too small. This 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 some little shit. Nah, I I just don't. Yeah. So you're about to find out about something. So you pretty much at some point said that you didn't think that this situation with whoever this is was gonna work because they move around weird and this could be somebody that felt like this towards you. Like you know what? Both y'all can feel the same way. Like you know what? This is not gonna work. We we are not compatible at all. Like point blank. This this is just weird. So it's it's almost like instead of trying to move around weird in front of you, this person damn near just try to like leave or something. I'm not totally sure because that's a weird that's that's kind of a weird card to flip in reverse like that. Upright is I cannot be with you because you weird as fuck. Like you're a fucking weirdo. Like the girl talked about young blue, like you're a fucking weirdo. Like that's just what it is. So with that being said, nah, I'm cool, but then it's in reverse. So somebody wants to change your mind about this. Like, nah, I'm not weird. Like, I'm not, I'm not this, I'm not that. I think your mind or whoever this is, I, I feel like somebody's mind is clearly made up. Like, no, you're weird as fuck. I said what I said. Creative download and someone is thinking of you. So you're about to find out about something. This could be clarity on who it is, or it could simply be whatever they were hiding or whatever they're choosing to omit. Some people feel like they're not hiding information. Some people feel like they're not lying. I'm just not telling you everything. That's not lying. I'm just not telling you everything. I just chose not to say that to you. Omitting information is the same thing as lying because you're not being completely truthful. So this is either you or this is them, but you're about to find out about something or someone's about to find out about something. But the funny thing is, too, I feel like somebody chose to kind of like somebody's trying to convince you that they're not a complete weirdo, but they really are. This is also somebody you're telling you don't think this is going to work, but I think what you're about to find out, creative download. I just get the feeling that you're about to find out that somebody else is involved. They no longer want that person. This person is really going to try to convince you like Robert did, Amy on Everybody Loves Raymond. Like, oh no, I only, I only, you know, was dealing with Joanne for a second because I thought we had something. But you know, my ex-wife, I, th I thought we had something, but she was only interested in XYZ and I, I really want love from you. This person is looking at you like you have everything that they want but you know i just wanted you know i just thought that me and this person had something real quick too so yeah there was an ex person that came in whoever their ex was this person kind of came in and just while you were dealing with this person they kind of swindled in at some point and then it was just like oh well let's see if we can rekindle the love and then this person still kind of like try to put you on the back end to where you didn't know about it now they're looking at the situation like damn well this is the reason that the shit never works out like they're getting back into it about whatever like they always do so this person's like i don't think it's gonna work or this is you in this position 
But if it's not you as this person, like, yeah, I don't think this is going to work. This is what they're telling the third party. This is what they're telling their ex. I guarantee you, I promise you on everything I motherfucking love, if you ever seen Everybody Loves Raymond, Robert ends up marrying Amy in the end. That's beside the motherfucking point. Robert was already dealing with Amy multiple times throughout the whole, like, you know, showing shit. Went to Italy. Was first, the, uh, got married to, to Joanne. Joanne did him fucking filthy, didn't want him. Then he was looking for love. Finally come across Amy. Amy shows this motherfucker full just everything. Like, she like, look, like, you know, virgin and all. Like, everything is completely pure here. Like, so what's up? Like, I really fuck with you. Robert then is like, oh, well, you know, well, shit. Okay, cool. But then goes to Italy and starts fucking with Stefania. So he cheats on Amy in Italy several fucking times while, it, while he's in Italy. She's in the States working and shit. This nigga's cheating on her. Nobody around Robert told this nigga like, yo, you fucked up for that. Especially Deborah, which I felt like was weird as fuck because Deborah is Amy's best fucking friend. Just take it how it resonates. But Deborah, Deborah is Amy's best friend. So that shit weird as fuck. Like, not only did you not tell your homegirl, like, what the fuck going on? Like, Nick, like, what the fuck type of loyalty do you have, my nigga? You just gonna sit there and watch somebody get done filthy as fuck? Then you look in this girl in her face like you don't know shit. Then you accidentally slip up and tell Amy about Stefania? Then that's right conveniently after she just found out about Joanne. So I feel like you I feel like this person, I feel like they fucked with an ex and they fucked with somebody else. Then neither one of those situations worked out. That is a confirmation. Scam likely. That is a confirmation. Neither one of those situations worked out. This person is not looking at you like they want you. Like I said before, whoever this is, they feel like they 1221 on the clock. Those numbers are inverted. This person feels like they live in a fucking TV show and not reality. So I can guarantee you on the show, they wanted a happy ending with these two getting married. I don't know if that's how you're going to deal with this in real life, but they definitely cheated on you and they went back to their ex on top of that. So yeah, I'm, I think you're looking at this like, I don't think this is going to work. But they're telling somebody else this in the, in the attempts to come back towards you. And I feel like to, to clear the air, they may just tell you this shit. They didn't want to move around you weird as fuck, so they didn't want to do this shit in your face. So I feel like somebody kind of pulled their energy back and probably just went ghost or something or just completely dead silent. You wanted to know what they was doing? That's what they was doing. Now, I don't know why the fuck y'all feel the need to really be into these karmic businesses like that. But I am telling you, if you need to hear this type of crazy shit just to heal, go ahead, get your little rocks off, and then you need to heal from it because this shit is over with. Like, there's no need to keep talking about somebody who does you fucking filthy. I think that shit is weird. I can only keep pulling the energy y'all are sending out. Like, I, I can't I can't pull something that, that y'all are not sending. You know what I mean? So... With this shit being said, again, this person, you're about to find out about what they did. They're really going to try to convince you with this poetic justice shit. Somebody's going to try to talk your fucking ear off about how they love you and they this and they that and they so sorry and da 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 And chilling and thinking and the sickest part about it is this person dead ass. Um, they had many a conversations about this. They talked to their friends, their family, they whoever the fuck. Everybody thought that this shit was cool. Some people was against it. Some people didn't care. Some people was like, oh, do you know who you're dealing with? It's pretty cute or this fine as fuck, whatever the fuck this is. And then this person, everything goes left for this person. Now they're trying to come back towards you. Again, this person thinks that they live family issues and what's the motive? Again, this person feels like, Okay, so I feel like if they have a child with this person or they almost did or they were married or something like that, maybe they were even just living with this person, that is who they slept with. Again, I don't know why the fuck y'all feel like you need details. I really don't. Because if you're not going to fuck with this person, why do you need to know this shit? Is you, like, how is this helping you? I, I just want to know for myself, like, how, how does this help you? But, you know, whatever. And I don't even think it's you. I think what it is is you're being pre-warned about this energy because it is about to come back and really try to, like, convince you that you, this this person is the love of your life. I think that's really the only reason that this is popping up because I know for damn sure y'all are not focused on your ex. Y'all couldn't be. As much as much pushback as y'all y'all giving me in the in just in the reads about this shit, like, I can feel your energy pushing this shit. Like, no, nah, I'm not fucking with that. And this person is like really trying to play tug of war with you. Like they're trying to they're trying to really pull themselves into you and you're not fucking with it. And you're about to find out about this because I just, you know, like Robert said on the fucking show when he was telling Amy about Joanne. Like, um, yeah, I, I feel like we're meant to be. That's why I feel like it's necessary to tell you about Joanne. Joanne? 
yeah, we've been talking for a while, and, you know, we were talking about getting together. And honestly, for a while, I was considerate. Hold on. You've been talking to your ex-wife about getting back together. Yeah, for a little while. For how long, sweetie? You, you know. So you've been talking to Joanne about getting back together. Like, okay. So you've been lying and deceitful, and you're settling for me. Okay, no. And this person's like, no, I'm not, I'm not, you know, da, 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 I'm not. No, this person is so trash. Like, it is weird. This part, like, I can't stand this type of shit because it, it feels like this person really feels like they live on a TV show. And that's the weirdest part about it. That, 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 that is so, uh, it's so off to me. Like, cause that is literally the only thing that I could think of is literally everybody loves Raymond. Like that whole fucking scenario. Then this nigga Marie said, Stefania, Amy, uh, and, and uh, uh, Judy, Robert's fucking partner, all down in the room to talk about how to fix this motherfucker. Somebody mama is a problem too. A heavy problem because she's too involved and she don't want to check her fucking retarded ass child. So you're about to find out about quite a lot. But this person feels like their way in is to be completely honest and... In reality, I feel like whatever they did, they shouldn't. Have, you should have just not done it. So there's, I don't, I don't think there's any talking to you about this. Yeah, cry, baby. I don't think there's any fucking talking to you about this. But they're going to cry in your face. I think you should know that. I feel like your goal here, at eleven twenty-two, just stay focused because again, you know, a new person is right here around the corner. They're just wait exactly. This person lied right to your face. They lied right to your face. So this, this, uh, about to find out about something, they lied right to you and you're about to figure, they're, they're, they're going to try to cry and tell you the truth so that you feel bad, so that you in your feelings and shit. Like this person is fucking weird. They think y'all going to cry together and then work out your differences or something. I don't, I don't know what the fuck, I don't know what world they live in, but it's not, it's not here. It's not what, it's not with us. Cause I don't know where the fuck this will work at, but not here on earth with the rest of us. Yeah, gossip as usual. And, they're, and then they're talking about you. So whoever this is that you were dealing with, they told everything to this other fucking person, everything about you, true, false, indifferent, whatever. They told all of your fucking business to this person that they decided to go fuck on or both of these people they decided to go fuck on. They, they told everything. But you know what? They told everybody your business, but when this shit comes down to it, I don't think they're going to give you the full fucking story. The way they gave everybody else your full business... I don't think they're going to give you what the fuck they fully was doing. I, I just, I get the feeling that they're not going to fucking do that. I really do. I just want to say, Sarah CT is nasty as fuck, but it's so healthy. <laughs> and this other one that removes like parasites and toxins and all type of shit. It start with, a, it's like G-O-V something, I forgot. That shit is nasty as hell. Very healthy, but very fucking disgusting. <laughs> Yeah, over the back and forth. So what it is, is these two done got into it. And I feel like you, with this gossip as usual, this person's trying to move away from all this extra shit, but they're talking about you. Because here's the thing, even when even when Joanne met up with Robert on the show, she like, okay, so, or like when he was trying to fuck with her, he like, she like, yeah, I saw that vanilla pudding you, pudding you were dating. Amy, or Emily. He was like, Amy, Amy. You can't tell me she did anything for you. He was like, well, that's none of your damn business. Yeah, so somebody knows about you. That's the weirdest part. I feel like somebody's been looking at you. Whoever this is, whoever whoever they decided to fuck with, I feel like they showed this person what the fuck you look like. That is some weird ass shit. That's some weird ass shit. Hey, I remember doing this shit to one of my exes I, just, just because you stupid, so I'm about to watch you fucking fold. You're stupid, so watch how he folds. Nick, I told this motherfucker, I'm like, oh, I forgot what the fuck he said about his baby mama one day, but I'm like, oh, like, let me, let me see. Cause he was like, yeah, cause if she see you, I already know, like she gonna, she gonna feel a type of way or some shit like that. I'm like, oh, well, I'm like, well, let me see what she look like. He's stupid. So watch how he fucking fold. Come on, bruh. Why the fuck? What, what purpose would I need to see your fucking baby mama? What purpose would I need to see your ex girl? Like, why the fuck would I need to see her? Am I fucking her? Am I, am I, do I have any dealings with her? Why in the fuck would you show me what the, why would, why would you do that? Cause you're stupid. Now watch how you fucking fold. That male ego can be so goddamn fragile. That female ego can be so goddamn fragile. 
stupid so watch how they fucking fold if somebody showed a picture of you to somebody else and i feel like at the time they was talking mad shit or at the time or it's either they was talking shit or it was something like um I don't even know, but whoever this is was like, well, let me see, let me see what this person looked like. Let me, you know, like, or, or, or this person just was like, yeah, look, this is who I was dealing with. It's one of the two. It's something like that. Cause this person, they got a good look at your ass. Much like, uh, what that, what, what the, what the chick say about young blue? She was like, oh yeah. Telling his wife like, oh yeah. Like, um, yeah, I heard your voice and everything. Yeah. Th- it, it's somebody sitting like, oh my God, B. Oh my God, B. Are all these motherfuckers on the same wavelength right now or something? Is everybody is is everybody that's on the same type of time? Are they all like is everybody vibing out on their same frequency right now? Cause that's what it looked like. Like how y'all all getting caught up on the same shit? Like what the fuck? Celebs and non celebs, like knowns and unknowns. Like how how is everybody getting caught up on the same fucking? So everybody's on the <laughs> everybody's on the same frequency. Yeah. So now they tired of going back and forth and arguing, but they're going back and forth and arguing, and it has something to do with you as well. Feminine or masculine, this has something to do with you as well. Why? Because you've always been a topic of discussion. This person is always like whether right, wrong, or indifferent. This person is always talking about you, but it's a jealousy thing. Whatever these two like. The, this, I don't know who they are, but these have to be the most top that 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 whatever these two doing that, that's the most toxic shit ever. It's super toxic because it's almost like I'm about to show you this person to make you get mad and then you get extra horny and then we fuck like rabbits or some shit like that. Like it's weird as fuck. It's so strange. It, yeah, you don't need to deal with this person coming back. And I this I don't think it's gonna work. You you know that they're a complete fucking weirdo. You know they're weird as shit. This person is so strange, man. Cause they do the weirdest things like like what this whole gossip is usual when you lie to my face like somebody is literally talking 1644 this person is literally having multiple conversations about you pretty fucking often to the point they're always fighting about you they're literally always fighting about you all the time Yeah, my level's real. I'm questioning yours. You lied to my face. Yeah, this person never really fucked with you. It was all to make somebody else jealous, and then they fucked around and actually fell in love with you. I feel like that's exactly what it was. I feel like somebody saw you. They wanted to make this other person jealous, and then I feel like the other person moved on, and this person didn't or something. So it's like, okay, well, I'm about to go fuck with the next one that looked good, and then y'all get into it because they don't actually approach the situation this was never intended for you to fall in love with this person according to them they was just trying to use you but never said nothing they made it seem like they really fucked with you but they didn't it was all to make this person jealous it must have worked because then they fall back from you and they deal with this person but then karma attaches itself to that entire situation now they want to come back towards you but they're stuck with that what you did you got to live with that that's your life you got to deal with that The feds watching, so we ain't really into that. That's your life. You got to live with that. You at your low, they'd rather be above you. You need a drink. Nah, I need a couple. Over the back and forth. This person feels like they made a, a, a very bad decision, and that's only because... How do I have these lined up? This one's just down. They made it. I like the way that looked, though. They made a very bad decision. Oh, there's water on the table. I love this. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm just so, just, I admire my cars. All this water on the table. If y'all saw how this was lined up, it's just water flowing all over the table. Then I got water just flowing all over the table. It's beautiful. I am water. <laughs> Fuck. Your love was, yeah, this person lied to you. Your love was real. You really tried to love this person. They was never intending to love you. They just used you to make somebody else jealous, and it worked. Weird flex, but okay. Um, Yeah, you, you, they actually want, like, they never intended to fall in love with you. They fucked around and really fell in love with you. They didn't realize that until after. That is so weird. This person really made it seem like they was in love with your ass. They really was not. Like, 100% was not. They liked you, but at some point, I don't even think they fucking liked you no more. 
this person dead ass used you as a fucking ploy to like get back at somebody else then they got back with somebody else and found out that shit was fucking horrible yeah you got chilling and thinking and chilling relax somebody is uh somebody yeah fake friends and fake love unfortunately you was never in love with this person or if you was they was never in love with you like never they never had any type of feelings towards you. Now, somebody is low-key in love and shit, and that's what you're about to find out. So when they come back and they try to tell you that they love you this time, it's going to feel different. That's because they actually try, they're going to try to make it seem like they mean it, which they might mean it, but that's only because they got fucked over somewhere else that they, they tried to use you. So I, I want you to understand that they tried to use you. One, two, three, four on the clock. You know what's coming next, right? Come on now. You know what's coming next, right? Somebody fucked you over. Who handles that for you? Do you got to handle that? Or do your higher-ups, do your ancestors, do your angels, do your most cutthroats, do they handle that? Who handles that for you? Who handles your light work for you? Okay, so if you just found out about this, that means they're now active. They was just waiting for you to find out about it. Oh, no, it's live now. One, two, three, four, it just added up. Everything fell in line the way it's supposed to. Now... I can't call my dogs back once they running out the kennel. They're after this person and everybody with them. Yeah. Check your affiliation because if you swing it with them, you fucked up. This person and anybody around them, unfortunately, it doesn't matter who they're with. Anybody that has any type of connections to this person, everybody is going to be fucked up. I'm talking, they're getting hit with towers just because they know this person. Just because you, you was sitting in the car with this person last week, you getting fucked up. That's that's how your ancestors work. You don't just get to do people filthy and think that everybody just gonna let that shit slide. No, some people got steppers. And your steppers, unfortunately, are, you know, they ain't had no time to stand up and, you know, this like when you've been laying in the bed for some hours now, you about to finally get up, take a shower, stretch out, and go outside. You full of energy. You know how when your child's taking up, they wake up fully energized? Your ancestors are coming out the cut like fucking Halloween creatures. So when this person feels like somebody's watching them, yeah, sometimes I feel, I feel somebody watching me. They're paranoid. This person is going to be driven to the point of insane, like insanity. They're going to be that paranoid that they're just going to be insane. Like they're going to really start losing their fucking mind. That's courtesy of your cleanup crew. Because when you fuck with mine, you get fucked over. So that's what it is. I mean, your people's not here to play with you. Yeah, because this person got the nerve to come back and tell you that they ready to fuck. All of this, all of this, all of this. Yeah, your friend wants you. All of this is because this person tried to fuck on you. I feel like in the background, you actually do have somebody else, whether it is an actual friend or this is somebody that they just real cool as fuck. Because, I mean, some of y'all be like, I don't have no friends. For your friend to want, like, that don't make no sense for me because I don't have no friends. So how come my friend want me? No, I feel like this is a friendly. You got hostiles and you got friendlies. I think this person right here was a hostile. You have a friendly that does want you. So, again, your cleanup crew is here. Your light work is being handled on this back end. But then, again, like I said before, you have new love coming in. So at the same time that you find out about this shit, they getting handled and your new love coming in at the same time. You're being automatically told in the same reading that this person that didn't love you fucked you over. You're being told in the same fucking reading that somebody else does love you and somebody else does adore you. Somebody else does want you. If they thought they was fucked up before, they, I mean, I'm telling you, your ancestors ain't even really cracked their motherfucking knuckles to get started yet. Third party is exposed. They used you to, to like, legit. You know, I'm not even going to lie. Yeah, creative idea and download, I'm not even going to lie to you. This is where I need y'all to stop being weird like this person. Here's what I want you to do. When this person reaches back out to you, I simply want, because some of y'all got this person blocked, they're going to do the most. What I simply want you to say to this person, if they feel like it's fucking necessary to reach out, this is where you go for the kill switch. Tell this person that you know about their ex, that you know about the third party. Just say something like that, like, oh, I know about the third party, and let that be the end of conversation. Let that be the end of conversation. Don't say shit else. If this person say anything to you, I don't give a fuck if it's, hey, how, it, how are you today? How is you today? I know about the extra person. I know about the third party. 
Yeah, I, I, I know... I know what you did. Like, I know what you used me for. Say something along those lines. Don't let this motherfucker slide on that. But you do not have to explain what you know, how you know it, and how much you know. Your ass is going to come off very creepy like 50 Cent did uh, DJ Khaled. A psychic told me. I just want to tell you what a psychic told me. Your tires got stabbed out. Now you know I know where you be. I just want to tell you what a psychic told me. I know where your mama house is. Now look, you can see. But I just want to tell you what a psychic told me. I know where your mama work at. Now look at her. Sleep. You want to know the craziest part about that? 50 came off as creepy as he fucking wanted to. Nobody saw 50 take them videos. Nobody saw 50 walk up on this nigga. That nigga mama was sitting there asleep. And it was a whole ass person standing right in front of this nigga. She didn't even know because it wasn't who the fuck she thought it was going to be. If that was going to be the person that showed up, it wasn't him. But behind the video, who could it be? You'll never fucking know. The only person that knows, the only people that knows are the people that were a part of it, right? But DJ Khaled stopped fucking with 50 Cent after that. Got a good look at his shoes. That's what he said. Next time he saw me, he got a good look at my shoes. What that mean? He got a good look at my shoes. He was looking down. He didn't want to look me in my face. He was looking down. Yeah, like I said... I just want to tell you what, it, what a psychic told me. The third part is exposed. Now look, I can see. Say anything along those motherfucking lines and just let that shit be it. Come off as absolutely fucking creepy as you can. I'm not even bullshitting to you. I'm not playing. This person's already completely fucking paranoid. They're almost at the point of like breaking from insanity. You tell this person, I just want to tell you what a psychic told me. Baby, I'm not playing with you. I'm not playing with you. And then they're actually still currently dealing with this person. So I just want to tell you what a psychic told me. Come off as fucking creepy as you can. This person really thinks that they're a demon. That's why I want you to come off as creepy as you can. Because not only is your people's handling this on the outskirts, I want you, they want you to be the one in the front line to show this motherfucker right before it all starts to go downhill. Yeah, your tires got stabbed at. Now you know. I know where you be. All this random ass shit is happening and this nigga's just going around posting shit and then he comes up with this creepy ass poem. Yeah, DJ Khaled was probably, yeah, he was like, that's probably not the nigga to fuck with. Somebody's gonna figure out you're not the one to fuck with. But it's because you've been so fucking nice. When you stop being nice, when you stop speaking so just, you know, poetic justice and shit, you start coming off creepy like this person, everybody around them is gonna get nervous. They told everybody you was a fucking demon before. I'm telling you, you come off as creepy as you can. They already think you kind of creepy anyway. I should. I, I really would like you to know that. They think you already creepy as fuck. Like, they, you scare them already. You do this shit? Yeah. You do this shit and it's really on and popping. Ready to fuck and third party is exposed. STDs all out this bitch. That's crazy as fuck. Like, this person lied right to your face and then... They, they really feel like someone's watching them. I said that! I swear to... Hey, hey, on the... Hey, everything I fucking love. Did I or did I not just say this shit? Did I or did I not just say this? Did I or did I not just say this? Did I or did I not just fucking say this shit? I said STDs, is it, it, STDs all out this bitch? I said that, right? Very next card. These two motherfuckers have STDs. They're nasty. They tried to use you, then fucked with each other, and got a fucking STD from one another. You bet not lay down with this person at all. They're going to give you something if you do. That's not a, that's not a hello gift fuck is you talking about don't let this person get your ass nothing they fucked with a third party that be out here fucking off and they knew that and that's probably why they try to use it they try to use you to make them jealous they got fucked over so they wanted to fuck this person over fucked you over went back to this person got a fucking std now they always back and forth into it and shit and now they trying to come back towards you that makes perfect sense right do not lay down with this motherfucking person you better come off as creepy as i fucking told you to bitch i know about the third party and let that be the fuck it let that be it. I'll be right back.